Hello, Darwin violinists, and welcome to another virtual violin lesson. I am so excited to be practicing with you again. I have my violin out right next to me. I hope you have yours. We're going to start today with our so easy five minute practice. So to begin today, we're not even going to start with our violins. The first thing we're doing in our five minute so easy practice is scrubbing arms to twinkle. So everyone get your scrubbing arms out with me. Follow your arm along with me and sing the notes. A, A, E, E, F sharp, E, D, D, C sharp, B, B, A, E, E, D, D, C sharp, B, E, E, D, D, C sharp, B, A, A, E, E, F sharp, E, D, D, C sharp, B, B, A. Awesome. Let's see if we can do that one more time, but so super duper fast. Let's see who can do it faster, you or me. A, A, E, E, F sharp, B, D, D, C sharp, B, B, A. E E D D C sharp B E E D D C sharp A A E E F sharp E D D C sharp B B A. That was so fast. Okay, let me know if you beat me on homeroom or not. Okay, next thing we're doing for a so easy five minute practice is playing a monkey song. So first, let's all get into rest position, feet in line. Scroll out front is mighty fine. Check your bridge, cause it should be peak out at you and me. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes now. Awesome job. Okay, we're all gonna get into playing position together to play the monkey song two times through. Actually, let's go ahead and hold here for 10, 9, 8, seven six five four three two one and good in your hands all the way back and good bow holds beautiful bow holds great for landing on the a string in between the tapes everybody listen to miss caitlin play it first <laughs> your violins one more time five six seven eight <laughs> good don't drop your violins our next thing for our so easy five minute practice is to play e to f sharp with the rhythm ice cream sh cone just listen to miss caitlin play it first i scream sh cone f sharp sh cone we're doing this five times all together, E string first between the tapes. Five, six, seven, eight. I scream, sh, cone, F sharp, sh, cone. Four more times. Five, six, seven, eight. I scream, sh, cone, F sharp, sh, cone. Again, five, six, seven, eight. I scream, Sh, cone, F, sharp, sh, cone. Two more times. Five, six, seven, eight. 
ice cream. Sh good up sharp. Sh cone. Last time, let's make it our best. Five, six, seven, eight. Ice cream. Sh cone up sharp. Sh cone. Very good. Don't drop your violins. We are almost done with our so easy five minute practice. But the last thing we have to do is play E to D with the rhythm, ice cream sh cone. Just listen to Miss Caitlin play it first. Ice cream sh cone, D, D, sh cone. Everybody all together in between the tapes. Five, six, seven, eight. Ice cream sh cone, D, D, sh cone. Four more times, five, six, seven, eight. Ice cream, sh, cone, D, D, sh, cone, again, five, six, seven, eight. Ice cream, sh, cone, D, D, sh, cone, two more times, five, six, seven, eight. Ice cream, sh, cone, D, D, sh, cone, last time, make it your best, five, six, seven, eight. Ice cream, sh, Cone, ice cream, sh, cone. Awesome job, rest position. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes now. Awesome job, everybody. We're gonna go ahead and move right on forward, but if you need to put down your violins, grab some water, grab a little, little tiny snack, go ahead and do that, and I will see you for the rest of our lesson. Today, I have a story for you about Bonnie the bunny and how she became my violin partner and how her annoying obnoxious habits ended up making me the excellent violinist I am today. Before Bonnie and I knew each other, she was a wild bunny that lived out in the middle of the woods. Some of you guys might remember that I grew up in a very rural area, meaning there weren't a lot of people or buildings, mostly plants and trees and a lot of nature. So Bonnie one time was hopping around the woods when she heard the sounds of a beautiful violin playing. She could not resist the sounds of this beautiful violin. So she followed the sounds all the way through the forest, through so many different trees. She went in circles, searching for the beautiful noise of this beautiful stringed instrument until she finally came across me, who loved to practice outside when I was just a little girl. So Bonnie came hopping around and found me playing my beautiful violin music. And she was so obsessed that she had to get as close as she could. And she got so close that she saw there was an opening for her to sit on right on my shoulder. She hopped on and she thought this is the perfect place for me to hang out and hear the beautiful violin very very close up. So she hopped here and she hopped here and she hopped here for hours and hours and days and days. She wouldn't leave my shoulder alone because she was obsessed with the sound of the violin. So finally I had to learn my lesson. My violin should have been on my shoulder anyway, not the bunny not adorable Bonnie. Unfortunately, I had to kick her off my shoulder so I could keep my violin rested right up there where it's supposed to be and there was no room for any wild bunnies or bonnies to come and find my shoulder to live on. Well, I did feel kind of bad about Bonnie not having a place to, to hang out and listen to my violin so up close, but then I realized there was a perfect place for her to hang out. I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize that it was a perfect place to, find, to, to hang out. She realized it was the perfect spot for her to hop on and latch onto was the end of my scroll. The only thing was, if I tilted my violin down the wrong way, Bonnie would fall and it would hurt her really badly. So I had to be extra careful and make sure I held my violin up straight and tall on my shoulder so she could sit right on top and hang out and hear the violin super up close without annoying me on my shoulder. And that's how me and Bonnie became violin partners. 
and how her obnoxious habits and her love of the violin made me the amazing, excellent violinist I am today. So as we go throughout the rest of our lesson, maybe you have a little Bonnie friend at home. Maybe it's another stuffed animal. Or if you don't have any type of Bonnie friend, you can imagine that Bonnie's with you right now. Is there any room for Bonnie to hop on your shoulder? Because you definitely don't want her to hang out there. So make sure you have your shoulder covered with your violin. And if you do want Bonnie to still hang out, you got to keep your violin up tall. So let's all pretend that Bonnie's hanging out with us today, practicing with us, and listening to our beautiful violin playing at the top of our scroll. All right, I hope you all enjoyed our story time about our friend Bonnie the Bunny. Well, now it's time to get straight back to work, and I want us to take on really nailing that up, down, bowing for twinkle, twinkle today. So luckily, we already did the scrubbing arms in our warm up. So right now, I just want us to get our bows out, and we're gonna practice following my bow to the up, down, bowing together. But first, let's double check we have beautiful bow holds. So we're looking for a bent thumb on the bottom metal piece, a bent pinky on top. We got our two middle fingers dipping their toes in the pool. And this guy's just hanging out on the pad. And can we spy on each other through our telescope hand? Beautiful job, everybody. Okay, now as we're following my bow at home, I want us to really remember that when we're bowing on the violin, we're doing small little bow movements between the tapes. So when you're following my bow, I know it's really fun to go up and down as big as we can, but let's see if we can all make short bow movements to twinkle, twinkle. All right. Ready? A, A, E, E, F, sharp, E, D, D, C, sharp, B, B, A, E, E, D, D, C, sharp, B, E, E, D, D, C, sharp, B, A, A, E, E, F, sharp, E, D, D, C, sharp, B, B, A. One more time without me singing, just follow my bow and me sing it in your head or out loud. Five, six, seven, Awesome job, guys. Okay, now to practice this up down bowing, we are going to do the two by two by two challenge. Meaning, we're going to play a part of the twinkle sandwich two times each to these small up down bowings together. And then we're going to play the whole thing together. I actually tricked you guys. We already did our first two by two challenge by doing just the bow and up in the air. So next we're gonna do our next part on the violin. So let's go ahead and get into rest position. I'll give you a few seconds. All right, I hope that you're all in rest position with me. Okay, the next two by two of this two by two by two challenge is to play the bread part, to up down bowing and between the tapes, <gasps> just two times. So everyone feet together, out, upside down, on your head, slide it down. Let's actually hold this four, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Knee your hands all the way back and good bow holds. We're going to go ahead and land on the A string. Beautiful, make sure in between the tapes. Can Bonnie sit on her violin? Okay, listen to Miss Caitlin play it first. Every 
everybody. A five, six, seven, eight. A, A, E, E, F, sharp, E, E, D, C, sharp, E, E, D. Awesome job. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, you guys did so good. All right, our next part of the two by two by two challenge is to play the middle part of Twinkle to the up down bowing in between the tapes two times. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. <laughs> On the E string, everybody, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job. Okay, the last part. Don't drop your violins. The last thing we have to do is play the whole song, Twinkle Twinkle, to up down bowing together in between the tapes. <gasps> Are you ready? I need to see, I need to hear you guys say that a little bit louder. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. Everybody, beautiful position, sitting up tall so Bonnie can sit in our violins. Remember, if we're too tall, Bonnie will also slide right off. So it has to be straight up. Good. Bow holds on the A string. Listen to Miss Caitlin play it, and she will count you in. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, breathe out, adjust your position, get ready to play, five, six, seven, eight. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes now. Awesome job, you guys! We just won that two. That two. That two game! <sighs> okay, you know what? I actually think, yeah, you guys did such good work. Let's go ahead and put our violins down for a little break. You know what? I don't know about you all, but it has been so nice outside. I just like to step outside into my backyard some days or go on a little nice walk. But the nice sunshine is giving me so much energy, it just makes me want to dance. So I thought it'd be fun to go over that one Suzuki dance that we do together, the song Allegro. I know that you guys might remember it if I sang it to you. I thought it'd be fun if we practice this dance at home, so the next time we see each other in person, we can all do the dance together. It'd be so fun. Okay. I'm going to give you five seconds. Do you remember the song Allegro and the dance? Five seconds. Do you remember? Five, two, one. All right. 
if you thought it was a song that goes like head head ears ears shoulders shoulders nose nose waist waist knees knees ankles ankles clap head head ears ears shoulders shoulders nose nose waist waist knees knees ankles ankles clap lightly swaying swaying lightly gently as the music flows and hold it hold head head ears ears shoulders shoulders nose nose waist waist knees knees ankles ankles clap all right let's see if we can do that together again a little bit faster Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Head, head, ears, ears, shoulders, shoulders, nose, nose, waist, waist, knees, knees, ankles, ankles, clap. Head, head, ears, ears, shoulders, shoulders, nose, nose, waist, waist, knees, knees, ankles, ankles, clap. Lightly swaying, swaying lightly, gently as the music flows hold it keep holding it head head ears ears shoulders shoulders nose nose waist waist knees knees ankles ankles clap all right one more time super fast actually one more time the same speed so i can remember how to play this on my violin with you all so i'm not going to be singing or doing the dance moves See if you can do it at home. Ready? play it on the violin. <laughs> one more dance we usually do this dance with our bows so we're going to get our bows out in a second but first I want to see if we can do the bowing we usually do with me to oh come little children but this time let's just do it with our bodies let's pretend that our body is a giant bow right now so I am going to pretend like I am the horse hair of the bow and uh, my spine is the wooden stick all right so let's all crouch down because remember up down little children you go up first so we need to go up then down okay ready up down little children up down then we stop up down little children up down then we stop up down little children up down then we stop up down little children up down then we stop one more time ready get your giant bows together crouch down first up down little children up down then we stop up down little children up down then we stop 
<laughs> up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get our bows out. In five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Awesome job. See if you can follow my bow. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Everybody stop. Look at your bow hold. Do you have a good bow hold right now? Is your arm bent? Is your pinky on top? Are your toes in the pool? All right, now that you adjusted, let's continue. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. One more time. Start with a good bow hold, everybody. Five, six, seven, eight. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. You watching me? Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Up, down, little children, up, down, then we stop. Okay, everybody, that was awesome work. Let's go ahead and get our violins out as well and in to rest position feet in line scroll out front is mighty fine check your bridge because it should be peeking out at you and me now it's time to take a bow high toes high toes high toes now okay we've been having such a good fun class today and we're gonna have some more because are you ready to play another couple rounds of the tape games we are going to have two rounds of the tape games. We're going to start this time with the round where we're focusing on landing our fingers on the tapes. So we have our beads for each of these challenges to defeat the on the tape round of the tape games. We have three beads, meaning each challenge will play three times, earn the bead to win that challenge. Okay. So we're all in rest position. The first thing we have to do for the tape games is play E to D three times landing on the tapes. Follow along with me to get into playing position. All right, so hold on the E string. So when we're going E to D, something that we should all be working on is letting our fingers hover over the a string so that when it's time to play d they're right ready that they're already there ready to drop drop right on those tapes so listen to me play it first everybody e to d five six seven eight Don't drop your violins. Did you land all three fingers on the tapes? I think you did. You guys won your first beads. We got two more times to do E to D. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Freeze. Don't drop your violins. Did you land all three fingers on the tapes? I think you did. You guys got your other pair of beads. Okay. One more to win this one. E to D, landing your fingers on the tapes. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, you guys, you did it! You did all three of those. You won the first challenge for the first round of the tape games. Okay. We have one more challenge to win this round. We have to play the monkey song three times to win each of these beads. And then we will have won all together the first round of the tape games. Okay, I hope you didn't drop your violins. We're getting strong violin muscles by just keeping our violins up here in playing position. 
So the monkey song, remember, only counts if you land all your fingers on the tapes. So if you didn't do that at home, if you know that you're not landing your fingers on the tapes, pause the video or rewind the video. Do it again with me until you are landing your fingers on the tapes. Keep practicing until you guys get it right. That is the beauty of these virtual lessons. All right, monkey song, listen to me play it first. I'm a little monkey bee climbing up the ladder. C sharp climbing way up high to get my blue banana. I'm a little monkey climbing down the ladder, climbing way down the to eat my blue banana. Awesome, everybody. Violins up so Bonnie can sit on your scroll. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm a little monkey climbing up the ladder, climbing way up high to get my blue banana. I'm a little monkey climbing down the ladder, climbing way down the tree. Eat my blue banana. One, two more times. Wait, don't drop your violins. Giving you guys your beads. Whoop. Good job. Two more times, everybody. Fingers on the tapes. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm a little monkey climbing up the ladder, climbing way up high to get my blue banana. I'm a little monkey climbing down the ladder, climbing way down the to eat my blue banana. Oh my gosh, so good. Don't drop your violins. Don't drop them. Such strong violin muscles. Here's your next pair of beads. Okay, last time. And then we will have one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Best, best time yet. It's our last time. Five, six, seven. Eight. B. C sharp. D. Oh my gosh, you guys! Okay, go ahead and get to rest position. Now it's time to take a bow. Hi toes, hi toes, hi toes now. And your last pair of beads. Okay, guys, go ahead and have a little dance party. We just did it. We just did it. Okay, but the tape games are not over because, as you know, there are two rounds to the tape games. We just won the first round where we are focusing on landing our fingers on the tapes. But now we need to play the second round where we are playing our bow in between the tapes. So everyone back into rest position. Let me get my beads back out. Okay. We are focusing on playing our bow in between the tapes. The first thing we are doing is playing E to A. Three times E to A. So everyone in rest position. Get into playing position right along with me. E string first, listen to me, play it first. Everybody in between the tapes, five, six, seven, eight. Don't drop your violins, awesome job. Here's your first beat, two more times, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Don't drop your violins! Awesome job! You guys are doing so good! Here are your beads. One more time in between the tapes. Five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> you guys, we did it! We did it! We did it! Here's your last pair of beads. <gasps> okay, we're not done though. We have one more challenge. Keep your violins up. Keep them up in playing position for strong violin muscles. All right. Great. 
The last thing we're doing is playing the flower song in between the tapes three times. Remember, it only counts if you're actually playing in between the tapes of your bow. So if you're not doing it in the video along with me, pause it, try it again until you are playing in between the tapes, okay? Three times. Listen to Miss Caitlin play it first. See the pretty flowers blooming in the garden. See the pretty flowers, red and green and purple. Everybody, five, six, seven, eight. See the pretty flowers blooming in the garden. See the pretty flowers. Oh, good job! Don't drop your violins. I hope you guys know that by now. Keep them up. Your first pair of beads. Great job. Two more times between the tapes. Five, six, seven, eight. See the pretty flowers blooming in the garden. See the pretty flowers, red and green and purple. Terrific! Don't drop those violins. You're doing so good, so good, so good. Here's your next pair of beads. Okay, last time the flower song. Make it your best in between the tapes. Five, six, seven, eight. See the pretty flowers blooming in the garden. See the pretty flowers, red and green and purple. <gasps> Rest position. Now it's time to take a bow. High toes, high toes, high toes now. Your last pair of beads, you guys, we won the tape games. All together, go ahead, dance party, dance party, dance party. We worked so hard, everybody. I am so proud of all of your hard work while you're still at home. I'm doing as much work as I can. I know that you are too. Okay, so to end class, I want you all to play along with me. This is gonna last about five to six minutes we're gonna play through all six all five of the twinkle variations we're not going to do the up down bowing today because we did a lot of good hard work on that at the beginning of class so we're going to do the five variations of the twinkle sandwich so first mississippi stop stop ice cream sh cone down pony up pony strawberry blueberry and Mississippi is a river. For each of those variations, I will do an introduction so you can listen to the rhythm and hear me count you in so we all play it together. So we're starting with Mississippi Stop Stop, everyone in rest position. See if we can do this like a real professional violinist in a performance. Show me your performance mode. Show your parents' performance mode if they are watching you practice at home. Let's go ahead and do all five variations of hard twinkle work. Listen first and I will count you in. Get ready. Five, six, seven, Don't drop your violins. Listen first. Ice cream, sh 
Get ready. Five, six, seven, Don't drop your violins, listen first. Down, pony, up, pony, down, pony, up, pony. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight. A. Just listen, strawberry, blueberry, strawberry, blueberry, get ready, five, six, seven, eight, strawberry, blueberry. Last rhythm, just listen. Mississippi is a river. Mississippi is a river. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight.
work. Even I am feeling that. Now it's time to take a bow. Hi toes, hi toes, hi toes now. Awesome job, you guys. This was such an excellent lesson. And I have a couple incentives for you today. First, uh, if you can post a video of you playing Twinkle Twinkle to any of those variations on Homeroom, that will earn you one ticket. Also, I am very curious if any of you have a Bonnie-like friend at home that you could rest on the top of your scroll. So if you have a little bo Bonnie friend of your own, post a picture of you with your friend on top of your scroll, your little practice buddy. So you have another little violin partner just like me. Remember, make sure there's no room for them to hop on your shoulder because that is obnoxious. It's obnoxious, Bonnie. Cut it out. All right. Until next time, everybody, happy practicing.